All right guys, what's going on? It's Dose of J back again with another video for you guys. And in today's video, guys, we're gonna be dealing with something that I have been wanting to fix for a while now. Those headlights. As you guys can tell, headlights are absolutely hazed. It's all hazed up, all yellow and all that stuff. And you can't really see very clear out of it. I mean, not that the lights are perfect anyway, like the bulbs, cause I never replaced those yet, but the headlights are hazy and of course we all hate those yellow headlights and all the hazy and it's just all cloudy and just makes the car look absolutely ugly. So today we're going to be going ahead and fixing that issue. So we got everything that we need. We got the buffer slash polisher here. We got the microfiber towels. We got the masking tape. We got of course the alcohol. Got three sandpapers. We got 600 grit. We got 1500 grit. And we also got the 3000 grit. And I'm also gonna be trying out the Turtle Wax. Not the Meguiar's restoration kit that everyone else uses. I'm gonna try out this one right here. Just to see how it works. Uh, we'll test it out so that if anybody else is looking to restore their headlights and looking for a cheap, nice, easy fix instead of paying to get headlights or buying a whole brand new set of headlights can just fix it up with this kit and with the stuff that I have here too. Yeah, another thing, you could um, get like a bottle of water, a spray bottle of water, but since this already comes with a uh, spray lubricant for the water, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use that. I'm just pretty much gonna use this kit, see how it works, um, and then, yeah, I think it has sealant wipes instead of a spray bottle, don't know why, but okay. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and use this so that I can give an, a little update or a little result on how it'll look like. So as you can see, we got these hazy ones right here. Actually, it's not too bad. Like the corner pieces are fine on both sides of the dull sole. As you can see, it's just these middle parts. Like this one is actually pretty ugly. Why I have the hood up instead of down is because these little parts right here, you guys can see it like comes over and hangs over the headlight. So. Once I put the hood down, I need to get a little bit of pins just to lock it down, but I don't have any there and on the other side. So it just covers the headlight, which I don't like, and it would be hard to reach there. So I just left it up and put down some, some cloths there since I won't be using those anyway. Okay, actually, before we go ahead and do anything, let's just see the before on each side. We'll see the before and now we'll see after when we're done everything for this i'm just going to be mainly filming one side of the headlight obviously we're going to be doing the same thing to both sides so i'm not going to make the video way longer than it needs to be and do both sides and film both sides i mean so i'm going to do both i'll do the other headlight by myself and then this headlight is what we'll focus on with the camera that you guys can see. The first thing we're going to be doing, obviously, is masking off around the headlight so that we can focus on and also none of the leftover spray or whatever we do gets onto the paint. Even though my paint is pretty much trash and it is going to be painted anyway, repainted over, but either way, I'm still going to go through it and mask off that and then we'll go ahead and continue from there. Masked off the front of this one, and of course, front of this side. So now, let's just move on to the wet sanding. So let's just get right into that now. just went ahead and we used the 600 grit so now I'm going to the 1500 grit the last time we went horizontal so this time we want to go vertical all right let's do this 1500 grit All right, 
right, that was 1500 grit. Now, of course, we're gonna finish it off with the 3000 grit sandpaper. So let's go ahead and do that. And this time, we're gonna go the final time horizontal this time. So we went horizontal, vertical, and now horizontal again. So let's get it. We just did all the grits. We did the 600, we did the 1500, and we did the 3000. So next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and start polishing and buffing this out so that it looks nice and smooth. Our turtle wax lens um, compound. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'll put this just right on over. Get some alcohol, of course, put it on it. Wipe it down just to get rid of any stuff. So now we're gonna use the Turtle Wax Lens Base Coat Wipe. We're gonna use this one. And go ahead and wipe down the headlight. And then after this, we're gonna use Turtle Wax Sealing Wipe just to seal the deal after. Now we're gonna go ahead and let this dry and then after that, of course, we'll go ahead with the other wipe. Go ahead and take all of this masking off and then we'll give the final look. All right, look at that. Oh, what's a little bit masking here. But check that out. Crystal clear. Look at that. And the other side. Boom. Headlight haze is absolutely gone. Ooh, look at that. Not even like a scratch of it. It's missing. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Oh yes. Holy damn, that looks good. It's crazy, like sometimes like the most smallest things are what make the biggest difference. Like there's a tons of like heavy mods that we all know, but for some reason, I don't know why, but the smallest little things like a headlight restoration just completely refreshes a car's look like no tomorrow. Oh my gosh, dude, I am in love. Look at that, that is so clean. Damn, that looks so good. I tried Turtle Wax, so if anybody was, you know, debating on buying this or Meguiar's or whichever thing, um, you can use whichever one. They pretty much all do the same thing regardless. So that's Turtle Wax. I wanted to give it a try and you know what? It actually came through still so there you go if you want results like that you already know what to go with go with the turtle wax whatever pretty much all that you need you just need the masking tape of course the mask off your headlight I didn't really need it because this paint is gonna be like gone and repainted anyway but I still did it for the sake of the video um, get yourself a kit headlight kit uh, whether it's turtle wax Meguiar's whatever it doesn't matter which one they all do the same thing as long as you do it properly and of course, get your 600 grit. You can get 400, 600, you know, get 1,000 if you want. But yeah, I just got the 600 grit. I got the 1,500 grit. And I topped it off with the 3,000 grit. So that's all you need. And of course, alcohol. You don't really necessarily need it, but it does help, you know, speed up the drying process. Get yourself some microfiber towels. I'm pretty sure every car enthusiast should at least have one of these. Um, and for a buffer, you don't necessarily need it. You can do it with your hands, but a buffer does make it a whole lot faster. And an extension cord if you do need one. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. If you want to do headlight restoration, 
that right there are pretty much all that you need to go ahead and get this job done and of course one one more look just one more look at this just one more look that's a very easy thing to do not hard at all anybody can do it you don't even have to be mechanically inclined to do this but yeah super clean makes it look a whole lot better comment down below how you guys think it looks if it looks nice if it, you know not a bad job how do you guys think i did all right guys so i'm gonna go ahead and sign out for today's video if you guys did enjoy this video please give it a fat thumbs up if you think the headlights came out great if they came out amazing be sure to give it a like give it a comment you know let me know down in the comments below if you guys think this came out good or or not if i did a good job or amateur job whatever it is like let me know down in the comments what you guys think of this the dell soul is absolutely coming back and it's gonna make a come up but i'm telling you guys 2021 is going to be amazing can't wait to take it out for all you guys to see and all of that stuff so yeah guys if you guys did enjoy this video let me know smash that like button be sure to subscribe guys for more videos like this one and other stuff we still got a few other stuff to do with the car you know just to get it prepped and everything over the winter but anyway guys i am dose of j and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out stay humble stay blessed peace